Welcome to PNF's Purge Pressurization video series. Today we're going to be talking about purge pressurization and the 5500 manifold uh, system. Uh, this is for purging and pressurizing your enclosure. Now, uh, before we start, let's talk a little bit about the purging and pressurization of an enclosure. The term purging indicates that you are purging the enclosure of all hazardous gases within the enclosure. So to do this, you have to have a high flow rate of air going through the enclosure and it exits through the vent. What this does is it eliminates all the hazardous gases within that enclosure. Once that's completed, then all you have to do is pressurize the enclosure. And what we mean by pressurizing it, it even though purging pressurizes the enclosure, we slow down that flow so that we just compensate for leakages within the enclosure. So you're main, mainly doing a pressurization of the enclosure to compensate for leakages and keep the pressure higher than the outside atmosphere so that the hazardous gases don't get inside the enclosure. Now, these manifold systems, uh, the 5500 manifold system, is um, basically a needle valve, a manual needle valve, and a digital valve or solenoid valve all in one package and you have air going into the manifold and then it exits out into the enclosure for purging and pressurization. Now the digital valve will give you the purging because that's a solenoid valve and it's activated by either the 5500 control unit or the 7500 control unit. So we purge the enclosure through that digital valve by energizing the valve. Then after it's finished purging, the digital valve is shut off and the needle valve, which is basically in parallel with, it, with a, a digital valve, the needle valve will take over and just keep a low flow rate going in there so that you keep a positive pressure within the enclosure. So by doing that, you maintain safety within the enclosure. Now, um, because of the different classifications for hazardous areas, we have different valves and different voltages for those valves. Um, the digital, digital valve, the solenoid valve, the 5500 manifold valves, um, they come with a UL certification as well as CULUS and CSA certifications for class divisions here in North America. For Europe and Asia, we have a zone rated, actually we have two zone rated certifi certified manifold systems um, that are strictly for the zone concepts. And then we also have a manual manifold. Instead of using a digital valve, we actually have a ball valve. So this is a completely manual system that you can use for either the 5500 or the 7500. It was basically designed for the 7500, but there's no reason why you couldn't use it for the uh, 5500. Now, when ordering these valves, it's very important that you specify the voltages on there. So from the nomenclature, you can either pick a 24 volt DC, 120 volt AC, or 220 volt AC. And uh, the reason why we do this is because even though like the 7500, that's a universal power. So you power up the 7500 control unit with uh, you know, AC or DC voltage, it's universally powered. However, one set of the contacts that energizes this digital valve on the manifold, it is powered by the power going to the 7500 or the 5500 series. So if you have a 7500 series control unit and you're powering it up with 24 volts DC, please pick a manifold 5500-MAN, whatever, with 24 volts DC. If you're powering it up with 120 volts, again, pick the 120 volt AC unit. When you purchase a 5500 manifold, you will get several items. So what you get with this kit is you get the, the PUR tubing, and this is a uh, 3 8 inch tubing. You get these tube inserts, bulkhead fitting to get your air inside the enclosure, and this uh, bulkhead fitting has a seal on it, and four mounting screws, nuts, and uh, seal lock washers. And that is used for the feet of the valve and you mount that to the enclosure. You also get a hex key which is used to set your needle valve for your pressurization inside the enclosure as well as uh, warning instructions for the certification of the valve. 
The valve is actually uh, somebody else's valve, uh, but we package it with all this equipment um, and we include the warning from the valve manufacturer. Now, when you use these tube fittings, um, this is a PUR tubing and these are compression fittings. And they are basically designed to be used with stainless steel tubing. And you can use it with stainless steel tubing if you want. However, if you use PUR, a soft tubing, then in order for the tube not to collapse, you have to put these inserts in there. And when you put the insert in there and you stick this into the, into the fitting, you rotate this fitting one and a quarter turns and that gives you your compression and your seal. But the tube fitting, this seal in there, prevents it from collapsing. So that's very important when you're using uh, soft tubing for your uh, connections, the pneumatic connections. Now, um, this happens to be a compression fitting and you can see the compression there, uh, actually the compression fitting and the uh, insert, the tube insert. Now, one thing to note about this tube insert is the inside diameter is um, smaller than the inside diameter of the 3 8 inch tubing. So that's gonna cut down on your flow a little bit. Now, if that's gonna cut down on the flow enough to, to prevent you from purging, then you must go with stainless steel tubing because the inside diameter of this is maybe a quarter inch, whereas 3 8 inch tubing uh, with a wall thickness of 35 thousandths, um, you've got quite a bit more than a quarter inch and it will allow more flow. So if flow is critical in your application for purging, then I would suggest using 3 8 inch tubing with a wall thickness of 35 thousandths. Okay, so a little bit about the valve. Um, this, is a, the, this is a solenoid valve and the manifold system includes the needle valve inside there. So the, uh, the, this part here is where you hook it up to the 5500 or the 7500 series uh, solenoid valve output. And uh, this, this, ha this one happens to be DC. Um, and you'll notice there's two black wires and it's uh, non-polarity sensitive. So um, they, they, they are, the DC ones are basically non-polarity sensitive. There's diodes in there. Um, this happens to be explosion proof. And um, here you have your input so from your filter regulator, uh, your tubing goes into here, and then going into the enclosure through this bulkhead fitting, um, you get your output, and that goes into the enclosure and allows you to purge and pressurize. So this is the solenoid valve, or digital valve, that allows you to purge the enclosure, and with the 5500, 7500 series, that's done automatically. The needle valve is done through this hex key, and in the back here, uh, in the picture, you'll see that there's an opening where you can put your uh, hex key in there and then you can adjust the flow, pressurization of the enclosure. So when you, uh, uh, clockwise will close it and counterclockwise will open up the valve and allow more flow for pressurization. Now, for the, uh, this is the UL certified uh, valve. For the EX valve, if you have zone certifications, then we have this valve. And this valve is certified for zone one, uh, actually zone two and zone 22. With this, you get exactly the same items, except you don't get the hex key, you get this uh, pressurization key. And that pressurization key goes on the top and allows you to adjust the pressurized uh, inside the enclosure. The solenoid valve is this coil here and again it connects to the 5500-7500 series and will automatically purge your enclosure. Set your pressurization inside your enclosure. Once the pressure reaches a certain value it will automatically purge your enclosure. So this is a zone rated uh, system. Along with this, again this is a different coil than the uh, UL certified one you will get instruction pamphlet for the certification of the system. Along with this, we also have a third uh, valve, which is also a zone rated valve. Now, and it's just a different design. Uh, the needle valve is on the side 
and the digital valve is on the top. Again, hook it up to the 5500, 7500 series, and it will purge the enclosure automatically. And then you set your pressurization inside there. Uh, the reason why we've got two different valves is because uh, this particular valve will be CCC certified for the China market. Um, and we are presently doing uh, this system with CCC, but it's going to take a little bit longer. So this one, it will be available now. And then the last valve we have is the manual valve. Um, we have customers that want a purely manual system. They don't want to automatically purge it. They don't want to run power to the valve or, or, or anything like that. So what we have here is a manual valve. And this is actually was designed for the 7500 series, but you can still use it for the 5500 series. So you'll see here that we have a ball valve, and this is a manual ball valve, turns 90 degrees for open and closed. And then we have a set screw in here that will give you your, your pressurization. And this is the needle valve, all in one package. In the back, we have um, the ports, and these are half inch NPT ports, they do not come with fittings. You can supply your own fittings or you can buy our CG fittings as well. This has an in and an out. So in flow out to the enclosure. Along with that, we have a gasket. So if you want to mount this internally to the enclosure, uh, you can panel mount that. And uh, this will give you a nice seal for the enclosure. And these are through holes. The mounting of that, these are through holes, so they're 5.5 uh, millimeter openings with a uh, set screw inside there so that you can uh, embed your nut in there so that it's nice, clean uh, setting. You also get, um, you know, the direction of the flow and everything, and the max pressure is 120 PSI that can be put on any of these valves. All of our systems are rated to 120 uh, PSI max. So the last thing we want to discuss is the air supply. You want to make sure that you have a clean air supply. Um, and this is mainly for the valve itself. You don't want to get this all clogged up so that it doesn't work. But also for the equipment inside the enclosure. Uh, you may have uh, equipment inside there that is um, very delicate. You don't want to be throwing grease, dirt, and water inside that enclosure uh, to ruin that equipment. So it's really for the equipment inside that you want to make sure that your air supply is clean. Um, again, max pressure is 120 PSI, and uh, you have to make sure that your capacity on your uh, compressor is large enough to supply flow to the enclosure for purging. That's the main thing there. Also, your lines feeding these manifolds through the filter regulators uh, have to be large enough to make sure that, again, you get the right amount of flow going through the enclosures. Thank you for watching this video. My name is Chris Romano. I am the product manager for purge pressurization for Pepperone Fuchs. All of the equipment that you see here today is on our website. Uh, data sheets, manuals, uh, drawings, 3D drawings, as well as 2D drawings, as well as the certifications. Again, thank you for watching this video.